Hey, welcome back to Louis Poker Vlogs. It's a beautiful day outside. It's been a little while since my last vlog. Uh, I've been really busy lately and I haven't been able to play any live poker really. But I am back. I have a lot of time to play in the next few weeks and I will be playing a lot of poker. So, what kind of poker will I be playing? Well, firstly, I'm going to be playing tournaments at the Casino Namur. It's um, a casino that's about 45 minute drive from where I live. Um, I'll be taking the car there. I'll be taking you along with me. It's going to be a lot of action, a lot of play. Hopefully I'll be able to film at the table. I haven't filmed there yet, so I don't know what the rules are. But we'll take you along and we'll see, see how it goes. See how it goes. On top of that, if I, if I bust any of the tournaments, then I'll uh, probably be playing a bit of cash game. Uh, one, two, two, two euro probably, the lowest stakes. Also wanted to show you guys my poker results, if any of you are interested. I've been keeping track since um, August of last year, so about eight, nine months now. So I can show you the, those poker results uh, on an Excel sheet. Welcome to my setup. I don't know how many of you uh, have a setup on a bed, but it's probably not the best thing for your back. But I think it's very, very comfortable and uh, it's not bad for playing poker. Oh, hello over there. There's a mirror. You can see me. So, I was going to show you a bit of poker stats. And we'll start off with shark scope. So, this is my shark scope graph overall. Um, it starts in. Uh, November of 2014 and as you can see it just goes downhill 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 all the way up to here one main reason throughout this period here I was playing a lot of heads up poker and not a lot of tournaments and I was losing a lot playing heads up sit and goes what changed here is I decided I wasn't going to play any sit and goes above $15 heads up and as you can see, my results have drastically changed since then. And so this is August of 2016. So August of last year, where I started to just like win one tournament after the other. Overall, you can see that I've played 20,000 games. I've got an average profit of three cents and an average bet of $5.36 with a ROI of 5.1%. That makes 625 profit, a $625 profit overall on PokerStars. Okay, now let's remove uh, all the sitting goes from the equations to see how we're doing in tournaments alone. Search. Alright, so this is my tournament graph alone. It's looking, it's looking quite a bit better than uh, the overall graph without the sit and goes. Um, I mean, since my big win, this is my big win in August. Since my big win, I've been actually going down quite a lot. Winning a few hundred here and there in uh, certain tournaments. But, I mean, I've been close to winning thousands of dollars a few times. I've been on the final tables. A few times, I just got unlucky in some spots, you know, how it goes on the final table. So I'm not scared. Oops, I'm not scared of this um, at all. I think that, I think that one big win is going to, is uh, due. So hopefully I'm going to go back up again. Alright, so this is me keeping track of both online and live play on an Excel sheet since uh, August of last year. So as you can see... Down here is my overall profit, so 2,658 euro. This is the profit per month, August, September, October. So monthly revenue, so I have good revenue at the start. And then as the month go by a bit less, then January, February, March, where I haven't been playing a lot of poker, you see that um, the revenue is uh, much lower. So the first line is actually online results. And then live results at the casino for the next um, for the next rows.
this is a graph that shows it all in one. So on the x-axis you've got um, the months. It starts with uh, August, September. And on the y-axis we have um, euros. Euros won. So my bankroll would actually be the red, um, the red line. And the revenue is the bar charts for every month. So as you can see, in October, I lost about a thousand euro. And in, Janu in January as well, about 900. So that's a little bit of explanation, a, bit of, a little bit of history on all of my uh, poker stats. I hope you liked it. And we'll be going to the casino very soon. 2nd of April on a Sunday, and we're finally heading to Namur. Let's go, boys. We made it to the casino, it's about 4 p.m. That's the casino right there. I'm gonna head in, play the tournament. It's a 60 euro buy-in, see how it goes. Um, if I bust really early, I might play some cash after. And yeah, see how it goes. We are a few hands in at this point, started with 30,000 chips, the blinds are 200-400. There's one limper before us in early position. We wake up with ace-king, decide to make a raise to 1300, folds around to the big blind who calls and the limper calls, so we're three to the flop. The flop is queen-jack-7, all diamonds. The action checks around. The turn is the ten of clubs. It checks to us. I opt to bet here. We've got the ace high straight. We have to protect against any potential diamond draws. We bet 2,500. Both players fold and we win the hand. First break of the tournament, we're doing all right. Uh, we started with 30,000 chips and we're up to 41,000. So looking good, uh, gonna have a little break outside, take, take a bit of fresh air and go back to it. We haven't played a hand for about two hours at this point. We have about 35,000 chips, the blinds are 2,000, 4,000 and we wake up with King Jack. With nine big blinds left, we make the shove. A guy to our left with only 15,000 chips behind finally decides to put it in after having waited about three orbits with less than five big blinds. Everyone else folds and he turns over 5-6. We have him covered, so we're only risking about 15,000 chips of our stack to, to win uh, his stack plus the blinds.
With only about three big blinds left, we shove seven fours. The big blind calls blind and unfortunately has ace ten in the same suit. The flop looks favorable, but unfortunately he hits the turn and we bust the turn. We busted the, we busted the tournament. Um, I think I might go back in for a bit of cash. It's uh, 8 p.m. right now. Been here for about four hours. Uh, I think I can stay a little longer. So put it like 100 or 150 euro on cash game. See how it goes. For the cash, in the end, there was a waiting list. All the tables were full, so uh, I didn't really want to wait uh, in the casino. Decided to go home. So we ended up uh, losing 60 euro in the end. Uh, this tournament is actually every Sunday, so we'll probably go again. It's, uh, it's a deep... Oh, putain. It's a deep stack tournament, so it's uh, quite good value for the chips. Oh shit, I should have gone out here. Oh no, I missed my exit. Talking to you guys. Oh well, we'll take the next one. No worries, I love you anyway. So yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.